Let's take a look at the IR Rangefinder LabVIEW demo project. I have the Sharp Rangefinder connected to the connector B, powered at 5 volts, and I'm using analog input 0. The demo is running. Here I'm reporting the voltage as read from the sensor, and then after a conversion to range on the main dial. The conversion is based on a scale factor obtained from the data sheet. But I'd encourage you to make your own measurements to get a better scale factor. Now right now I'm holding the sensor 10 cent centimeters from a reflective target. Now 20 centimeters and now 30 centimeters. See, relatively good accuracy, but as I say, you need to set up your own calibration factor. Now I'm starting to hold the sensor closer than 10 centimeters. I'd like you to observe that the voltage goes up again. This is a problem, and you need to solve the problem by mounting the sensor to ensure that the target is never closer than 10 centimeters. When the target is completely out of range, you get approximately zero volts and out of range is beyond 80 centimeters. All right, looking at the block diagram, it's based on the analog input. Pass that through the AC and DC estimator from the point by point version. So the point by point area is right here, and there's the estimator. I'm using the DC output. And this is averaging together 20 samples, displaying it as the raw voltage right there. Now to turn that into range, we form the reciprocal voltage, multiply it by the scale factor, K scale, and then add the offset, K offset, and that gets displayed on the main display. I'd like to point out that this numerical display which is overlaid on the dial indicator is available right here. This is the frameless numerical indicator. When you first place it, it's set up as a control. You can right click and change it to an indicator. Now the air cluster is ordered together with a stop button. Pressing stop or an air condition will break you out of the loop pass through the simple air handler, and then execute a MyRio reset. Here I'm pacing the loop at 50 milliseconds. There's not much point in going faster than that because that's about the rate at which the IR rangefinder is updating its analog voltage. Now at the moment I'm collecting 20 samples, and if it seems like 20 samples for averaging is making this operate too slowly for your application, you can certainly make it a smaller value change that and uh, I'd like to point out though that the noise level does become a little bit more noticeable. It's perhaps not so bad at the close range as I'm using right now but as I move my target farther away you can see that the noise level does go up considerably. So you want to find a balance between responsiveness and noise suppression.